outdoor kitchens and small spaces. We're gonna have a whole video on it right now. Here's some examples right here. 25 plus years in business designing and building outdoor kitchens. And I'm gonna give you all my pro tips right now. Enjoy. So real quick, before I get into the video, would you mind taking the time and subscribing? And then just letting me know in the comments below that you subscribed and where you're from in the world. It's really fun that we're getting people watching all over the world, and I just love to be able to help people no matter where you live. So thank you very much, guys. Please subscribe. So for our first tip here, I wanna show you the before of what this project looked like. So here we have a ridiculously small little covered space right next to the door, which is a positive. So we could put an outdoor kitchen right there, but really that would be it. You put a kitchen in there and there's your space. But what we did here is got creative. And that's the tip I want to say for number one is get creative, think outside of the box. So what we did here is we expanded with a covered structure. Now that wasn't an easy thing because look at where the window was here on the previous covered structure. It's right above the covered structure. So we had to raise the window. We had to get creative with the cricket because of the roof line of the other gable style structure there. The bump out for their interior dining room. But look at what we were able to accomplish. We added a beautiful outdoor kitchen the homeowner, all they wanted to do was be able to walk outside and grill all seasons. And that's what we accomplished here. We gave them a bar behind the grill, a TV right there. And look at, we expanded a whole nother room of the house. This became a, an expanded outdoor living space that they could use whenever they want. Adding the heaters there. Now the client can use this outdoor living space all seasons. So tip number one is thinking outside of the box, not being limited by what you currently have. Getting creative, thinking outside of the box, thinking of how you can maximize your space. That's what I want you to think about. For tip number two, I wanna let you see this project. They also had a very small little covered space that was kind of built into the house. Now. You could easily do an outdoor kitchen in this space, but the client really wanted to just stretch it a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. So this is what we did. We added a very small little cover, maybe just an, an, an additional three to four feet of covered area. That gave us the ability to build in an outdoor kitchen right outside of the door. So the client was able to grill four seasons right outside of their door. But that little bump out gave them the ability to add a little fireplace right next to the outdoor kitchen. So they can also be outside all seasons. So this is a video all about small spaces for outdoor kitchens, but I wanna let you know that outdoor kitchens don't need to be huge, even if you have the space. You can create a small little area for your outdoor kitchen and then create lots of destination to go out to. So one of my favorite small backyard outdoor kitchens is this one. Now you really can't get smaller than this. This is a very small little space packed with so much. So we didn't do a traditional grill here. We did a charcoal grill. It's a flat grill. You see it off to the, the right there. A little bit over to the left of the outdoor kitchen, we did just an ice cooler. So it's just a built-in ice cooler, toss some ice in there, toss your drinks in there, and that becomes uh, a little uh, drink holder. A little bit to the left of that is a pizza oven built into the kitchen. So that's your main grill for lots of, you know, pizza, bread, anything else you wanna cook on the pizza oven can be cooked there. And then right next to that built-in was the outdoor fireplace with lots of wood storage all around. So, very small space maximized with outdoor living focus 
with the main destination being the outdoor kitchen. Here's another creative outdoor kitchen. It's a very small outdoor kitchen, but it's in close proximity to the door. Again, the homeowner wanted to grill all seasons. So we waterproofed the deck out of their master bedroom. And that just gave us the ability to step out dry right over to the grill station. So on the same elevation was the hot tub, step over a little bit further to the hot tub with the pergola, but then being able to step down to be able to enjoy this space, the double-sided fireplace under cover, little bar right behind the, the outdoor kitchen there, serves as a great little table for the little ones. A little bit further out is the pizza oven, and then you have that grand outdoor dining table under the pergola. So again, the tip I wanna say is yes, you can have a small outdoor kitchen if you want, but if you have the space, extend further from that. Create lots of purpose, lots of destination, but the main staple point can be the outdoor kitchen right outside of the door. So just a reminder to get a good design. I wanna give you all this information and ideas, but still take the time, find a local designer. If you can't find a local designer that designs outdoor kitchens and outdoor living spaces, we would love to help you out. No matter where you live in the world, we can show you your backyard, your home in your backyard in a 3D world and give you a beautiful outdoor living design. So take that time, hire a good designer. It will save money down the road. Now, another tip for a small outdoor kitchen is adding a bar to the outdoor kitchen. Now, you might look at this space before and think, how could you add an outdoor kitchen to this space, let alone a bar with an outdoor kitchen? But look at what we're able to accomplish here. We took that small little covered space, we added another gable to it, but then the, the outdoor kitchen was added with the bar. We were able to get the grill station in, an outdoor refrigerator, lots of other outdoor living, but the main focal feature again is the outdoor kitchen with a bar right behind it. So we added the bar there, we added the outdoor grill, we added a little sink with kind of a prep area, little bottle opener there, just look, maximizing space at every corner and really using the space to its full. So a small little space with so much packed into it. So really don't underestimate what you can accomplish even in a very small little area with your outdoor kitchen. Now here's a very small little detached outdoor kitchen. It has a little cover there with two posts. We did some support beams there to extend the roof line, but it's just a very simple little structure, very simple little outdoor detached kitchen with a grill station and a little drawer. And that's all we did in this little space. Now the space itself is larger, but the outdoor kitchen is very small. You just don't need to do a huge outdoor kitchen. You can take up a very small footprint. You can grill all seasons with the cover and you can enjoy the space really in any space that you have, small or large. The kitchen just does not need to take up very much space. So another tip is to use your outdoor kitchen for dual functions. So this outdoor kitchen was used as a retaining method. Hard to tell here, but right behind that brick wall is a very busy road. So we really wanted to stretch as much as we could to the property line. So we used a covered structure, it was a detached structure, but we used a breezeway from their door out of their house so they could walk out to the structure and they could use their outdoor kitchen all seasons. We put a fireplace in, we put a bar in, we put a little water feature in there too so they can kind of absorb some of that road noise right behind the wall. But really now we created a beautiful outdoor space with the focal point being again out of those windows and out of that door as they look out that what they're going to see first is that outdoor kitchen that's going to pull them out and have them really using the small outdoor space. So another idea for a small outdoor kitchen is maximizing every square inch of your space. So here we have another one of those very small little covers on a modern home. 
We tucked the grill right into the corner there, and then we extended the bar from that. And then we added barn wood to the cladding. And I just love the contrast with wood and granite there, the stone, and it really serves as a beautiful destination from inside the house, outside. So again, capturing those sight lines from inside the house, maximizing every square inch of your outdoor space, even with a small outdoor kitchen, you can really create some usable outdoor area. Another tip to creating an outdoor kitchen is not necessarily always using a grill. Here we have a smoker. This is just an egg style smoker. There's lots of different styles of these on the market. You can check out the box above for some videos that I've shot on these. But look at what we created here. We did a little bar island. We created just a smoker. So you don't always have to just grill. You could do a smoker destination as an outdoor kitchen. And it serves as a really nice little outdoor kitchen with a bar in a very small, compact little space. So you might take a look at this outdoor kitchen and think, why is it in a small outdoor kitchen video? But the reason it is, is because the space is so small. They have a very small little area that they were able to utilize for their outdoor living space. But they put a lot of energy and effort into designing a nice size outdoor kitchen with bar top and countertop to really maximize the cook space and maximize the outdoor living space. So because of the proximity there to the river, they were not able to go out any further into their outdoor area. So we kind of pushed out the area to the side of the property. So we were able to put in a lot of outdoor living here in a very small outdoor space, but it became a pretty large and good size outdoor kitchen. So the next tip we have here is from a side yard. Side yards are becoming quite normal with some of the modern building in neighborhoods. So we put in the grill station right underneath the pergola. Now this really allowed us to maximize a very small side yard. If you look there, we used the homeowner's grill that they already had purchased. We just built a little island around it. That's a custom island. We put the refrigerator in there, but really that was just a small little kitchen to really serve the function for a small space that we maximized every square inch of. So we added the fountains at the end of the landscape. We added the fireplace. We added the dining table there right by the outdoor kitchen. We really maximized the usable space here in a very small yard, a side yard. Kind of amazing how much we were able to do here. All right guys, so outdoor kitchens and small spaces, I sure hope I gave you some good ideas and I hope that you can incorporate them into your outdoor living space. Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for being a part of our community. Have a great day.